Afternoon, parents are still left without answers after doctors at Dell Children's Adolescent Medicine Clinic departed last week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marine and I'm Britt Moreno. Now this all comes following Attorney General Ken Paxton's announcement of an investigation to uncover whether gender transitioning procedures were unlawfully performed on minor children and quote there at Dell Children's Medical Center. As KXN's Mercedes Hernandez reports, while the clinic itself remains open, parents and their children's care are now in flux. A lot of disappointment. I think a lot of anger. Yeah. I mean, Parents well, Tom and Joanna Crawford say they were shocked last kids. week when they learned their daughter could no longer see her provider at Dell Children's Adolescent Medicine Clinic. It wasn't just that one doctor was leaving the clinic. It was that all of the doctors affiliated with the Adolescent Medicine Clinic were leaving. The trouble comes as Attorney General Ken Paxton launched an investigation into Dell Children's Medical Center into what his office called potentially illegal gender transitioning procedures on minors. The Crawford's daughter is undergoing hormone replacement related to long-term care after cancer treatment, not her gender identity. And she was the one that made the connection and said, well, technically I'm on gender affirming care, right? We're going to see a ripple effect um, overall in healthcare, I think, for minors because of that. And, Emily Witt you know, is with the Texas Freedom Network. She says the heated climate around this type of health care could have a bigger impact in Texas. When we pass laws like this, we keep um, talented, competent, passionate doctors from wanting to work in Texas because their ability to live up to their oath and to serve their patients is is becoming illegal. We reached out to the hospital to ask how many doctors are gone and whether they left on their own or were forced out. We also asked the attorney general's office for an update on their investigation. As of the time of this report, neither responded to our requests. In Austin, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. Now, Ascension Seton says it is working to connect families to appropriate health care services. Part of the statement released on Saturday says, quote, we continue to be advocates for the best possible care and treatment for children in Central Texas. That full statement can be found on our website, kxan.com.